You can't call yourself a filmmaker unless you constantly experiment with your tools. Here's a compilation video of the first 30 shorts that I made, where I played around with all the filters and tools inside the YouTube app so that I could figure out how fast I could make shorts on the go and what the heck this tool even does. What can you do with your phone and just the YouTube app? So these next 30 shorts are basically an experiment that I ran. Every single day I tried a different filter, every single day I learned something new. So for those of you who are trying to get into shorts, I just wanted to run through all of the things that this thing can do natively before you go and download a whole bunch of software you may not actually need. I hope you find it useful for your own YouTube shorts journey. Tune in next time where I do a director's commentary for these shorts, where you can figure out what I did, why I did it, and what I learned. Will this effect revolutionize filmmaking as we know it? Who knows? Stay tuned to find out. Cyclops filmmaker. Oh, ah. Cyclops. Big Head Mama says, Happy Father's Day. Gah! We did it, you guys. A thousand views on YouTube. That's so cool. Look what I figured out how to do. Ha 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 Green screen. Yes. Whoa. 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 What are these rainbow rays? I love this. It moves with my face. I love this effect so much. Oh my gosh. How do I use it in film though? Wait, I'll figure it out. This one's fun. This one's called Pixels. It pixelates the entire screen, obviously. And uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head how I would use this in a film. What would you do? Tell me. Film noir filter, see? I'm gonna go solve some cases, see? I know exactly how to use this filter. What about you? How would you use this in filmmaking? Leave a comment below! X-ray filter, creepy AF. But look at this funny stuff. You have to consider the lighting. Right now my face is totally in shadow and the background is blown out behind me, but it looks reverse. So if you use a filter, remember those tricks. <laughs> Everybody loves a good fish eye. <laughs> Hello, is anybody home? Hello, I have a package for you. Did you order a pizza? <laughs> I love this filter. Yo, this one's creepy AF. This one's called Always Smile. And I can already think of like some horror shorts or something that you could make with it. Look at how horrifying this is. Target acquired. Proceed with extreme caution. Beware that tuft of hair at the top. Infrared sensor? Not bad. This is such an influencer vibe. It's called Sparkles. I just, hey everybody, I love it. This is all sparkly. Oh, look at my headband. It's all shiny. Love it. Sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. This one's funny. It's called Cell Flames. I feel like I'm trapped in a cartoon fire. Ah, ah. <laughs> What would you use this for? Like in filmmaking, I mean. I don't know. Did you grow up in the 80s and 90s? Then this filter should be very familiar to you. Hello? Old-timey CRT? The kind that gives you radiation? That's me. Yeah, I could use this filter in any number of ways. <laughs> wow. I see double, I see the double, I see double, double me, I see double, I, I see double, I see double, double me. Let me tell you all about the dream I had, dream I had, dream I had, dream I had. Duotone. Duotone looks like a music video from the 80s. I am red and blue and white and black, and that's it. Last I checked, that's four tones. Just saying. 
This is absolutely bonkers. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. <laughs> what is it even doing? And how would you use this in a film? Hmm, I don't know. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Sparkle, sparkle. This Brady Bunch version of me is going to tell you there's a new video coming today. Wednesdays at noon. Be there or be square. Square. I see you. I see you. I always see you. Can't talk now. I'm having a dance party. For real though, how would you use this filter? Drop a comment below. This one is called Color Pulse. It's definitely very psychedelic. How would you use this filter? Definitely kind of got this memento vibe, eh? <laughs> Leave a comment below. This one's called Duo Tone Grid. I think it's meant to be some sort of Andy Warhol stuff, but it's not really working very well. It needs a little work. I like the one in the bottom left, the yellow little corner. I think that's my favorite. This one is called Censored, and it's absolutely hilarious. I actually really like this one. I, I think I know exactly how I would use this in film, obviously. I don't think it's too hard to figure out, but I really like the variety in the way that it censors my mouth. <laughs> what do you think? And this one's called Retro OS, which I find hilarious, because I used to be a computer programmer, and this kind of screen appearance is very, very familiar. Well, the sun's coming up to say hello. Hello, sun. And yeah. So I just got back from the doctor and he says I drink too much coffee. I don't really know what he's talking about. I feel perfectly fine. I mean, yeah, my heart rate's like that of a hummingbird, but hey, I, I, I feel perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Very, very fine. In fact, I think I need some more coffee. Know what else I found? Editing. Oh yeah, I can edit. Which means I can do stuff like this. <laughs> oh yeah. We all love free stuff. Free! Free! So the question is, if you could have any filmmaking course at all, what would you want it to cover? Leave a comment below! That's it for now. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Friendly Filmmaker is a Tuba Creations production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Mastodon. And if you like what we do, consider supporting us on Ko-fi with either a one-time donation or a membership. Members get all sorts of great perks. Check out ko-fi.com slash friendlyfilmmaker for more. That's ko-fi.com slash friendlyfilmmaker. Thanks for watching.